Speaker, welcome, Minister. Prince Edward Island has one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. At the same time, a wide range of industries face ongoing labour shortages, especially in remote areas. What exactly is the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency doing to address the mismatch between people without jobs and jobs without people on Prince Edward Island? Could you point to specific programs and initiatives? Sure. Madame la Ministre. Thank you so much, Senator, uh, for your work, and thank you for the question. Um, again, uh, the Atlantic Canada's Opportunities Agency is really an agency uh, that is there on the ground in order to help uh, tackle the challenges of small and medium-sized businesses. I like to say if it's an economic issue or, 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 or hurdle, it becomes an ACOA issue, and if it's an ACOA issue, it becomes a Jeanette issue. So we really want to make sure that we can address these issues hand in hand in order to promote economic growth within the area. I can tell you that when I meet with small and medium-sized businesses, let it be New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, or Newfoundland and Labrador, the number one issue that I'm hearing uh, from uh, businesses is the issue of labor force shortage, uh, and especially when it comes to rural parts uh, of the country here. And that is why that through ACOA, uh, we are looking at ways that we can help address those matters. One thing for certain, we certainly know that the issue of automization and digitization is really, um, you know, um, an issue of, of the of a tool that many small and medium sized businesses are using. We certainly recognize that sometimes for some jobs, it's very difficult to find people that want to do the jobs day in and day out. So automation, digitalization is really key. And that is why the ACOA is providing specific funding in order to encourage small and medium sized businesses, you know, to, to do the expenses uh, and the investments that are needed in order to automate, automate and digitalize uh, their industries. The other thing as well that ACOA is doing as well, we have supported some community groups with respect to immigration types of projects as well. If we are seeing that we are finding small communities that are successful in receiving uh, immigrants in their areas, we also have to make sure that we have the support services that are in place to keep them in those communities as well. I'll use Chipman as an example in the province of New Brunswick. It's a small Madame community. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Madam.